What's going on? This is Big G from G Riders, and welcome to another episode of Taxi Rise. Today, I'm gonna be testing out the third gen Lexus LS430. generation of the Lexus LS. Third generation of the Lexus LS was introduced for the 2000 model year and it, can, and it continued in its tradition of being one of the best, most, most luxurious and one of the most reliable and dependable luxury vehicles that money can buy. So this one I have here is a 2006 Lexus LS430 and this one and all LS430s come standard with the 3 UZFE make it 290 horsepower and 312 foot-pounds of torque and depending on the year they, they came with either a five-speed or a six-speed transmission yeah 2000 to 2002 cars came with the five-speed and then from 03 to 06 came with the six-speed like this one here since this is a full-size luxury sedan this car weighs about 3900 pounds which is average for you know a big luxury sedan even for back then and this one gets, and for MPGs, even for being an 06, this one gets 18 in the city and 25 out on the highway, which is still pretty reasonable, considering this car is 12 years old now at this point. So, back in 06, this was probably like a 70, $80,000 vehicle if, if you kinda, if you, look at the, if you look at the prices with inflation. Now, even 12 years later, low mile examples of the LS430 is still at almost $20,000. That's freaking insane for a car this old to be still that expensive. And that just kind of shows you how well these cars are built and how reliable these cars are. You always can tell cars resale value based on its reliability and dependability. And since these cars are some of the best you can get, they, they have some very strong res residual values. And there's some out there that's even worth more than some of the LS 460s, the generation that came after it, which is pretty insane. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this super luxurious luxury sedan. Welcome to the interior of the, of the 2006 Lexus LS430, and the one thing that I'm that I'm that I'm greeted by in this car is simple fact that like how like nice everything still looks for the age. I mean, this car has 168,000 miles on it, and everything that you touch and feel is nice and soft and plush. These seats, oh my God, these seats are comfortable, and actually they're a lot more comfortable than the seats in my in my in my Lexus GS300. I mean, yeah, this is a bigger car and everything, but it, it just feels a little bit different. I mean, there is a lot of of like pretty cool, pretty unique, pretty high quality, high end features. Even pretty not in the higher features, but there's a lot of there's a lot of pretty pretty modern features for this car being as old as it is. So just first to start, that this has the little keyless thing like the to turn instead of having push button, it has a knob where you can just turn and it has comfort access and everything like that, which is really cool. This also has power folding mirrors. That's automatic, and I feel like you know anything that's big needs to come with that. So if you look down here, it also has heated and cold seats. Has a little shade thing, as you can probably just see there, and a bunch of crazy stuff like that. I mean, this whole entire infotainment, this whole entire navigation thing, is pretty out outdated, which is fine. But like, you know, what you gotta do? It's a six, it's an 06 car. Like, if you got one of these, you can just throw in like a little aftermarket double den in this space here but cool thing this car came with is a backup camera even for then that's pretty that's again very some high some very high-tech features and if you look here the vents are going back and forth that's really cool so like it just circulates the air in the cabin it's so so cool and like you know I'm not gonna talk too much about the interior of this car because this car is for 168,000 miles, this car is, is extremely fresh. It looks like it only has like, you know, 50,000 miles on it. I've seen cars that have 50,000 miles on it and look a lot worse, a lot more worn than this. But this is a flagship Lexus luxury sedan. So it just, it just has to, it, it, honestly, it has to still look like this even with its age. So like, there's nothing really anything else to say about this. Like it's, it's excellent, it's perfect. There's plenty of back seat space. There also is a little fridge in the back there. Like, only thing I don't like is these cup holders. Like, check this out. 
I mean, I thought it was cool, but I, I'd rather have some a place dedicated for my cup holders, which it, which would be nice. Then you also have your CD player there, your six disc changer there, and there's like a little little cubby hole there, which is nice for whatever you need, like your phone or change or I don't know sunglasses. Let's we'll see if they fit in there. Nope, but I know there's other sun, sunglasses that are a little bit flatter that could fit in there. I wish they would have put this button down here. I mean, it feels like something using just like a a whole piece of wood right there instead of just putting it down there where you can actually see it. I think they should have just put it there. But again, it's all six. They weren't really thinking about that back then. But I'm pretty impressed for how, you know, how old this interior is and how well it still looks and kind of some of the modern features that this car has. So, with that said, let's head out on the road. So one of the very cool things about this particular car here is this, this car belongs to or after this video goes up, used to belong to a friend of mine that put a very, a very cool Black Pearl body kit in Porsche from Japan. I'll put a picture up here. Boom. But this car has a very timeless design. Like, yes, you could put body kits on it and make it look even crazy and wild and make it look really cool. But if you just leave it stock, this vehicle still looks good, even, even at this point, like where everything is getting curvy. This body style is just timeless. But one of the cool things that the owner did on this car is he has a Royal exhaust on here and electric cutout. So I'm gonna let you guys hear that right now before we before we head on the road. It's just like, oh my god, this ride is so comfortable. It's plush, it's soft. 
Like, but the thing about it, it still handles pretty decent for a sedan, for a sedan like this. Like, this is a 4,000 pound, 2006 luxury sedan. So like, for that, this handles very well. And I'm pretty impressed with it. Like, you could tell that this car was engineered to a certain level of perfection that cars aren't engineered to anymore. It seems like cars are only made to last only a shorter amount of time than they used to. But but back 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 in those days, around the about the generation when this car was designed, they're building cars to last basically forever. And I definitely can tell that this car can last forever. You just stay up on the basic maintenance stuff, and this car will run for you forever. And I, that's what these LS and these Lexus LS 430s are about. It's like most of the equipment will keep working. Most of the equipment will keep working. Most of the features will still work because Lexus does not. Lexus and other Japanese brands do not like to, especially Toyota and Lexus, they don't like to experiment unless they know that, you know, the vehicle will be perfect. And, you know, from so far I'm seeing like there's really nothing that doesn't work on this car. Everything is basically perfect. And like, you know, and everything is basically perfect. So, this car definitely has very good visibility. Since this car is, is not one of the, it's not a newer car, it hasn't felt victim to like the slopey roof line that a lot of cars are having nowadays. So like, you can see out of every single window pretty clearly, even the windshield and the, and the, and the side mirrors, and you can see all corners, all four corners of the car. And it's pretty, it's pretty nice. You can't, you don't really get that too often anymore. Cars have always had to fail, fall victim to like the slopey roof and things like that.
four years ago now when I when I when I transferred to Oregon State University and um, I actually sat in this car and this this particular car is the reason why I bought my GS is I sat in this car and I was just like oh my god this is like just the best the best like classic luxury sedan and it's it, and it just blew me away and for that that like I owe I credit this car to the purchase of my GS 300 because if it went if, if I if I didn't meet the owner and see this car I would never have gotten that car and I absolutely love this car and I still love my GS even though I don't drive it as much as I should so if you're looking just for a, a simple luxury sedan that's going to be very reliable for you and very comfortable and if you put exhaust on a stone this good you should definitely take a look at the 2006 Lex you should definitely not the 2006 in particular, but you should take a look at the third generation of the Lexus LS because Lexus really doesn't make anything like this anymore. Their cars are great, but they're nothing like this. And for that, this is definitely if you want an LS, if you're not trying to, if you if you don't, if you can't really afford a new one, this is the one to get. No matter, just because this one is a little bit older, that you should not be shied away from owning one of these. Because I absolutely love it, and honestly, after this video, I might start looking for looking for one to replace the GS with. So, if you like this video, hit me with the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, keep riding with me. Thanks for watching.